right, a lot of guys will use Coca-Cola or Pepsi to spray on the concrete to retard it. We don't want to take that chance. That stuff, sugar's bad for concrete. So we put this on. Got to mix it. The paddle drill for three minutes. And we just put it in the spray can as soon as we get done finishing. You have a tint on it so you can kind of see where you're spraying it. I'm spraying the tint. You want to kind of cover it 100%. It needs to completely be covered. This concrete was setting up pretty good. We had an accelerator. It's a little cold out. So once it started setting up, we were kind of running. Like he was having trouble getting the joints in. So I was spraying right behind him because it needs to be on there as soon as possible. All right, we got the whole thing sprayed. Now we're gonna wait a couple hours. It says five to 12 hours. With all the rebar sticking up, it's gonna get us a sitting curb. They wanted all these angled joints all over the place. They're a little big for our area. Hopefully it don't crack too bad, but they have a look they're going for. We're gonna take the silver tip brooms and a pressure washer. Sometimes I can do it with just the regular hose and it does real good. And the pressure washer in case it gets too hard. We waited about three hours, started spraying. Kind of did it in the spot just to make sure it wasn't too deep. Thought it was at first, but it was pretty hard. So we got out there. When you're running that pressure washer, you gotta watch what you're doing so you, you could dig a hole real quick if it's a little wet. Luckily, this mud was 4,500 PSI mud, so it was hard. The silver tips just kinda help speed it up a little. If you're by yourself on a smaller patio or something, pressure washer is plenty, but this was a 60 yard pour. The mix is a, a 3 8 pea gravel so it's about a seven and a half sack mix, maybe even an eight for them to get the 4,500 PSI. Everything's, it's a water park, so it's draining to the low spots. So we have to vacuum all the water and cement, sand, everything, and dump it out. But nice and consistent. You want nice even pattern, pattern so you don't see streaking. Kind of see, we keep keep it moving. If you pull the pressure washer, keep it up higher. You can always go a little more, but you can't go less. So pay pay attention, pay attention to the streaking. It's hard when you got this many guys. I gotta kind of watch everybody as I'm spraying. You gotta watch footprints. You wanna make sure when you're traveling it, you're not leaving lines because those lines will kind of show up. Joiner marks will show up. Kneeboard marks will show up. You got to make sure you lay it down real nice. That'll all mirror through. Everything was taped off nice. The drains were taped off. Some of the water got in there, but we vacuumed out a lot of water. If you use a hose, it'd be even more water. The pressure washer is a little bit less water. That's what's nice about them. But we did this for a couple of hours to get all this off. We washed it three times. Came out pretty consistent. That's what we're looking for. We'll have to wash it again, probably on Monday. We used a concrete vacuum because they don't want to fill the drains. We dumped all the water out here. There was a lot of water. This is Jeff, Concrete the Right Way. Thanks for watching the video, that's how we do. The exposed finish, pretty, pretty good size. Please like and subscribe, really appreciate it. And remember, I'm not the best, but no one's better.